Uh, we've been parishioners here since 2010. I have been a member at St. Margaret Mary since 2004, 2005, after my daughter Reese was born. My family and I have been members of St. Margaret Mary for 23 years. Steve and I have been members of the parish for over 20 years now. I was encouraged for a few years to attend the CHIRP retreat by quite a few friends. And even though I was thinking I wanted to go, I had so many reasons to be nervous that kept me from going. And uh, a few of our friends decided one night at dinner, let's just do it together and we won't lose if we have some friends with us. Uh, to be honest with you, um, I felt that I wanted to become closer to God. Um, but honestly, um, I just felt like I wanted to connect also more with uh, the other men in our, in our parish. I was chair of the parish council at the time and board members were returning talking about how great the retreat was. You know, each month I'm announcing the next retreat and I wasn't going. And I thought, well, I need to walk the talk. I need to find out what this is about. You know, I chose to attend the retreat because I, I was at a point where I was so busy in my life, not only at work and traveling, but at home with four kids and a busy, busy life that I think that God kind of fell off into the distance a little bit. And I knew that I needed to find a way to get closer to the most important reason that we're all here. I felt from the very beginning of the retreat that God's presence was there, I mean, the entire time. There was not an aha moment. Afterwards, it was, it was anticlimactic, but I, I felt like I had, my spirituality uh, was, was taken to a whole new level. I really felt God's presence uh, with me and with our entire uh, group. Uh, because the, the conversations and the, uh, and the connections that we were having um, wasn't typical, it wasn't normal. Uh, it, it felt very, um, very natural, and, uh, and I felt that it was definitely something that um, was really guided by God, and, uh, and I felt uh, immediately a connection with, uh, with my church brothers, and, uh, and I can only attribute that to, to God and God's presence during our weekend. At the retreat, it was almost like I felt a different part of me open to him, and um, I think this was common with all of us on my retreat. We felt a different relationship with God that was more open and more personal. You know, during the retreat, there were probably several times that I really felt God's presence, and for me, it was the alone time that I had. It was when I could really reflect and think without any outside distractions, without cell phones, without people. I would describe the retreat to somebody who has not attended CHIRP as a time to give to God. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure who it was. Uh, was talking about how, you know, if, if Jesus came to you and, and handed you an invitation to attend the CHIRP weekend, would you accept it? And that really struck a chord with me. And so I went into the weekend with one expectation and, and came, out with, uh, came out with a completely different uh, feeling than what I was expecting and uh, it's just a unique experience that uh, you know how often do you get a really unplugged from the world. In one word I would say unbelievable and I think because you don't expect what you're going to receive after going. If, if you open up you will get so much more out of the retreat. Um, for me, it was a sense of community with people that I didn't know, so it gave a little bit more personality to a parish, and it has actually led me to leading a retreat um, as well. Uh, I would describe the retreat to someone who has not been on one as a time to get away for a few days and leave all of the distractions of everyday life behind you, and it's not easy to do, but leave all of that behind you and you can really, really think deeply about God and God's presence and what's most important in life. It's so easy to miss small signs of God, large signs from God, when you're just going that 90 miles an hour of everyday life. I would describe the retreat as just a chance to get away from everything that is immediate in your life and to concentrate on the future. Um, it's an opportunity to bond with parishioners of the parish that you would never have met otherwise. And I've got some 
really great relationships with um, some of the other retreatants and even the ones that weren't in my um, class because we get together. Since our CHIRP retreat, uh, my faith has definitely um, become deeper. I found that the CHIRP retreat really opened the doors for me to um, welcome others into my life. I feel that my, uh, my, my connections and my, my love for my fellow parishioners um, has, has only deepened and, and that is only attributed to the CHIRP weekend. I think one part of my faith that changed was being a little bit more open with others about my relationship with God. And it was kind of cool because I think growing up in Catholic school, K through uh, 12 actually, um, we were all, most of us were Catholic. We prayed, but we could we didn't have the opportunity to just start praying together. Um, so I felt like that, that the retreat really helped my group of friends that were there and then everyone that I got to know feel like we could pray with someone and not be embarrassed. And um, it really enlightened my faith a lot. You know, I feel very close to God and, and I'm working really hard every single day to get even closer to God. And, you know, the retreat was a great way for me to settle back and get refocused uh, to kind of re-energize those efforts. The most profound change in my life from the retreat was the sense of internal peace. The peace has helped me get through some very tough times since the retreat. Uh, the Holy Spirit was working to be sure I'd be shored up for what was to come. My favorite part of our CHIRP retreat definitely has to be the relationships that, that I built and that we have built together. Um, it's clearly God's working through us. Um, and uh, you know, going through the CHIRP weekend um, builds those strong bonds. But one thing that I really, really treasure was after the retreat and being able, being on the side of putting on the retreat and being a, a coordinator and helping um, with uh, specifically, I was on the kitchen duty and I was able to uh, work with other CHIRP retreatants, male and female, uh, to put on the CHIRP retreat and, and uh, you know, being able to give the CHIRP retreat to other retreatants was just as much, if not more, rewarding than the actual CHIRP weekend as well. So the entire CHIRP experience um, is one that is extremely unique, but uh, it's uh, selfishly, it's very rewarding for myself, and it's only natural for me to want to give that back to other CHIRP retreatants in the future. You know, I keep using the word peace, but there was a, a sense of solace, I guess you'd say, that I was on the right path that I needed to be on, that I needed to be working towards all along, and I'd finally come to the point where I was doing that. You know, in general, just getting away for a couple of days and putting down the phone and putting down the remote control and putting down a book and putting down life and games and practice was really, really important. But, but, but for me, inside of the, the actual the itinerary of the re retreat, um, uh, the Stations of the Cross really, really, really hit me in a way that I could have never predicted. Um, I had no idea. It had never hit me doing the Stations before. And I felt Christ's presence in me, without a doubt, at that moment. And that was what I remember by far the most. Unfortunately, I can't tell you because you'll have to go to experience it. And I swear to you, it is the most amazing feeling you will experience, I promise. Um, maybe the next favorite thing about the retreat was getting to know so many ladies um, and after the retreat, learning how big this CHIRP community was. So I've met so many friends, like I said, all different backgrounds and ages, and it's, it's definitely broadened my St. Margaret Mary community that I appreciate and love so much. For all of the moms out there who, like me, kept saying they are too busy or um, I don't want to miss my kids' games, I was that mom. I gave up the opportunity to go I don't know how many times. I felt like a bad friend saying no, but it, as a business owner, I gave up my business. I put my phone away for two days. I missed some sports games with my kids, but what you gain is so important. And um, it's not even two days, it's one night. And so I strongly encourage you to check it out. There are so many people to talk to if you have questions, we have answers, and we hope that you will join the CHIRP community.